Happy Labor Day, guys. Um, I am laboring for you in making this quick video. I just want to highlight a few things. Some of you have been taking advantage of the extra credit opportunities that I have posted on Canvas. I just want to explain one more thing about the extra credit. The goal is for it to be supplemental, extra practice, extra exposure, extra kind of instructions almost on how to think about the content. So I just want to let you know. So first of all, prep work and homework page. You're going to go there, right? You're going to click there to see what is due week two, right? So if you click down to week two, the homework that is due in class, I expect you to do the homework problems from one, six and three, four, right? The quiz on Tuesday, quiz number one, will be on 1.6, 3.4, as well as 1.5 homework. So be sure you do these problems to help prep you for the quiz. Also, to come to class prepared for our group work, our group discussions, I want you to think about the squeeze theorem. Read page 69 a couple of times and watch a video to help you make sense of it. Again, the video is optional, right? For further understanding, watch the video. And then 1.7, the precise definition of a limit, part one. We're gonna talk about the precise definition and writing proofs using that definition this whole upcoming week. So again, read, take notes. Here are some videos I highly recommend you watch. Again, not required, but for your benefit, continue reading, maybe watch some more videos. And then also please bring these worksheets with you to class on Tuesday as well. So another way that you can get ready for the quiz on Tuesday is to go through some of the supplemental extra credit, right? If you're interested in extra credit, go to modules, extra credit, materials that I've created. So first things first, the orientation for extra credit. If you've done this, great. If not, no worries. The orientation quiz and this discussion have now closed. So if you were to even try to go to those now, it would say this quiz is locked. Better luck next time. Don't worry about it. It's done. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and I'm going to minimize this module because I've finished it. Time's up. Now, module one, right? This is week one extra credit module. And if I actually just go back to that home or that not home page, but that page on modules, it's all about limits, limits from graphs, limit laws and asymptotes. Pretty much the content we covered in the first week of class. Um, if you go straight to. So again, this is an overview, right? Talks about what we're going to learn if you were to do this entire online module. If you hit next, it'll automatically take you to the very next page. So there's a free online calculus textbook put on by OpenStax. Um, so here's a note about the supplemental textbook that this online um, supplemental instructional pages uses, right? So the definition of a limit, you can go to that page and actually read through Right, a newer version is available. Always go and click on the newer version. Why not? And if you go back to the module, all right, it'll give you some suggested exercises for you to practice on if you want more problems to practice with. And again, solutions are provided in the textbook as well. You can always hit next. Um, graphing with Desmos, right? There's a video I created that kind of shows you and teaches you how to graph with Desmos. I did a little bit of that in class, I think, last week. So, again, some suggested practice exercises for you to try on your own. Another video with some advanced Desmos work, creating piecewise functions. If you go to the next page. All right, concept check. A quick, just a 1.5 quiz, so to speak. Um, and by 1.5, I mean the, the intuitive definition of a limit, right-sided limits, left-sided limits. I already took the quiz once, but I get three attempts so I can take the quiz again. What I want to show you specifically is after you've taken the quiz even once, it'll tell you what you miss. And if you missed it, if you missed it because I left that one blank or if I scroll all the way down to the one where it says incorrect, right, I didn't get the answers right, there are usually hints and helps that I've put into it. So when you make a mistake, go back and review your online quiz to see these notes and these helpful hints. So taking this quiz, again, it's extra credit, meaning it's not gonna hurt your grade at all. It can only help. 
And when will it help? It'll help at the end of the semester once I figure out how much I want extra credit to be worth. At this point, I don't know. It kind of depends on how many of you do it. So multiple attempts that you can take. So if I would just go back to modules again, what you'll see is now that I've kind of gone through those first few pages, it kind of puts a check mark that you've looked at it. As you go down, there's no check marks. I haven't looked at those yet. Here's another quiz, kind of a, another assessment practice, see what you know, what you don't know. There's a discussion that I'd encourage you to participate in so you can be talking to your classmates online. So make an initial post by Wednesday this week and then before the end of the week, reply to a couple of your classmates to get full credit for this extra credit online, totally optional discussion. But these are here to help you understand the material even more and have more opportunities to practice and more opportunities to discuss with your classmates outside of the class. If you can't physically get together, there's discussions that are, I'm hoping will be helpful and beneficial. So have a good Labor Day and I'll see you all in class tomorrow.